Hey everyone, welcome to the Gizmo Breaker Gaming Channel. My name's Oscar, and I'll be your Gizmo Breaker today. Today we're going to be breaking the wireless headset, and more specifically, the low latency wireless headset, with this wonderful little find on Amazon. So, let's go. So before we get started, this episode is brought to you by my stream. If you guys want to talk tech, uh, travel, streaming, or spirits, uh, swing by the channel. It's uh, twitch.tv forward slash gizmo breaker. I'll put the link in the description and um, hope to hear from you guys. So my journey started when I got a pair of active noise canceling Bose QC35 headphones. And they were for a very specific purpose. I was going to be traveling a lot, a lot of plane flights, and I wanted them for the active noise cancelling and it was between them and the Sonys. So I figured, you know, that I put that on my wish list and I got it. Cool. So thanks to everything going on right now, there is zero travel, uh, zero need for travel, zero travel period. So I don't really need the Bose QC35s for active noise cancelling, so I thought maybe I could use them for gaming. Sure, why not? Who doesn't like wireless? So, I mean, I've, I have a pair of wired headphones that are, are great. Since I had Bose, figured why not? But once I compared them, got them working, work, they worked fine for music, started trying to uh, game with them, and the latency was ridiculous. And I was really disappointed. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that already knew, knew that the Bose had terrible latency. Um, but like I said, I got them for a totally different reason, not gaming, I tried them for gaming. And so that set me on my path to find low latency wireless connection. So I tried a couple of Bluetooth adapters for the uh, Bose. Um, thinking maybe it was a Bluetooth adapter that was in my PC. And it wasn't. It's just the codec or the protocol that uh, Bose has built into their headphones that just doesn't allow you to have a low latency connection. Then I scoured the web and came across this thing. This is the Aventry Lock. A wireless audio transmitter slash receiver set. So I thought, oh, okay, let me try it out. So actually, um, I, I didn't even get this much information from the website. Um, on the box, it says 40 millisecond low latency. Uh, I feel like it's a little lower than that. It doesn't take me out of the game. I play Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Apex Legends, Fortnite. A lot of first person shooters, you click the button, you hear the gunfire, and you see the spray of bullets on the screen. There shouldn't be any latency. With the bows, total disconnect. I click and like half, it felt like half a second to a second later. I'm sure it's like about half a second, but it felt like a whole second later that I would, uh, I would hear the gunshots as opposed to see them on the screen. So that set me on my path to find low latency wireless connection. At the time and bottom they were about 65 bucks. Right now I think they're still about 65 bucks. So looking at it right now it's 64.99. So it's not cheap, but it's not like buying a uh, dedicated wireless headset just for gaming. And besides, I like the headphones I have already. They're the Philips SHP 9500s. And I mean they work fine. They're they're wired. They have a connection down here and I didn't want to spend like $150, $250 just for oh, the wireless feature. And I already have a separate microphone here, so I didn't need the, the microphone on the wireless headset. So I decided to just try these out. Uh, have, they have a four-star rating. Um, at a glance, they say no delay, but you know, you never know. So next, we'll go to what came in the box. Nice little box. There's some, you know, design put into it. There was a typo. But, you know, product works. I could care less about a typo. So in the box, you get the transmitter, which is denoted by a TX on this little center button. And then the receiver, which is denoted by an RX on the center button here. And they also include all the cables you'll need. And then some. So you have a 3.5mm to 3.5mm uh, cable. It is... So I'd say that's about, I don't know, three foot, three, four foot long cable. And then it comes with this 
beautiful little thing here. It's just a simple male to male 3.5 millimeter connector. And this is one of my favorite things that they include. So in addition to that, they also have the old uh, RCA to a female 3.5 millimeter uh, headphone jack. You get these three parts along with the transmitters in the box. So that's really cool. I liked what they included in the box. Already right there, I'm feeling better about my $65 purchase. One last thing that's included in the box is uh, this USB cable with two connections for the transmitter and the receiver so you can charge them both at once, which is really cool. And you can use this to plug in the transmitter if it dies. And mind you, when I was looking at this, I was also looking at uh, saving up and getting a, a, a pair of um, the Steel Series Arctic Pro wireless or the Arctic Pro 7, I think, the 7 wireless. The lesser expensive one's about 150. The Arctic Pro wireless is about 200 plus, 250 if you can get it on sale. The way I, I originally set this up is I just left this kind of bundled up, connected the transmitter to it, and connected the other end to my uh, Behringer Euphoria UM2 uh, audio interface. So not directly to the computer, but that would work too, just going out through the uh, headphone jack of the computer. And then my favorite inclusion in here, which is this little guy, uh, I just connected it to the receiver, like so. Isn't that just adorable? And connecting it to the bottom of my headphones. And it's wireless. So this looks a little goofy. It doesn't look too bad. I don't think it looks too bad. But uh, my wife giggled at me the other day when she saw me. She's like, what's that? I was like, it's my little dongle. It's my transmitter, or receiver. So yeah, it doesn't look bad. But... What I did plan on doing was getting a little either double stick tape or some Velcro because Velcro you can peel it off and plug it on the charger and my idea was to get little short cable like this plug it into my receiver here obviously plug the other end into the headphones and Kind of loop this around somehow so I can stick it on like that so it's not dangling or hanging off. I don't know. I'm going to fix this up. So by the time you guys see me on stream, I'll have this connected like this. You guys can see that. In theory, it should look good. Uh, put a... So as far as sound quality, it sounds, to me, to my ear, it sounds virtually the same as the signal coming out when it's wired. Uh, I did feel like I, I noticed a slight hiss. And I was like, oh, it's include it's adding some sort of static to the line to the signal. And so I switched back to my wired connection and lo and behold, it was the same little staticky signal. I just had never noticed it. I, I had never really listened to it that closely. So you might experience the same thing because you're listening for any interference being added. I never listened for that and I never noticed that. And now I, that's all I can hear is that little hiss. But it's fine. It's totally acceptable for me because, I mean, you're blasting your gameplay or, or YouTube videos or maybe this video and just listening to it. So it, it's not, for me, it's a non-issue. So the next setup, I'm going to take this and then just connect it with a little short thing directly to my uh, audio interface. So it's not, I don't like wires. So in case you haven't noticed. But now let's go into the performance of this thing, which was not bad. It's surprising because on the box, they advertise the transmitter up to six hours of runtime of working time and the receiver up to eight and a half hours of, of runtime. So in my testing, and I want to get this right, my first test, the transmitter went for at least six hours and 41 minutes and then I had to go to bed. And the subsequent testing when I was able to let it run till it died was about seven hours. So that's a whole hour more than advertised. I mean, that's pretty good that's almost a full gaming you know full day of gaming you know if you game for eight hours without a break i mean it's kind of unhealthy but hey if that's you you do you i was happy with that with the transmitter and the transmitter also works if you have it plugged in now when you plug it in it does add interference for sure um you get a little a little more static but you i mean it's a little bit of a trade-off for the wireless feature for the receiver though what you're saying like oh well i, I have to plug in the, the transmitter i have to plug in the receiver too yeah, but the receiver lasts a lot longer. Um, like I said, they said eight 
eight and a half hours. Eight and a half hours for the receiver. And in my testing, I got as high as um, 13 hours of listening time. And the receiver was still going. And it was still perfectly fine. Uh, distance. I didn't really test distance too much. I was walked around the, the room. My room was, you know, it was larger than average room. So like about 10, 10 feet from the transmitter. And connection was pretty solid. Uh, I have no complaints with the connection. Uh, I typically used it sitting at my computer where it's about uh, about two feet, two, three feet away from my from the receiver. So signal strength was perfect. During the multi-hour testing that I did, I did a mix of YouTube videos, music, left it playing in the background, um, just playing and playing. And obviously I tested it with playing games, video, um, video games. That's how old I am. I refer to them as video games. Uh, playing uh, PC games, like I said, Call of Duty, Apex, uh, Fortnite, no delay, no no latency um, that I could notice. I was I'm really happy with these. And I just want to share with you guys, so you guys don't have to spend a fortune on wireless headphones, especially if you have a pair of headphones that you really like. And there's no real reason to get like Arctis Pro Wireless unless you want the wireless feature or maybe the microphone. But if you already have a microphone, I I don't know. Those are just my thoughts. Inclusion. Highly recommended. Okay, that's not gonna look like that. I highly recommend these. Hope they work as good for you as they did for me. And hopefully the the runtime is the same for the pair that you guys buy if you guys decide to buy this. So one last thing is that these should work with the Go XLR. And that's because the Go XLR you need a headphone connection to get the signal from the Go XLR to your headphones. Now I don't have one set up yet, but I do have one that I'm gonna be working on setting up. If you guys want to see that video, comment in the comment section and I'll be sure to, to put it out there. So thanks a lot and I'll see you guys in the next video.